straightallday.com. What you're looking at right here is going to be a drill series mixtape number two. In this format, what I'm going to do with this is basically take a series of drills. This will be anywhere from, as far as time goes, from 15 to 30 minutes where I'm going to just take a series of drills, put them all together in one video so you can see them all in succession as one as a longer form video, maybe something you could use on your own in the gym. I'm still going to do the other types of videos. This is just going to be an addition. This is not replacing anything that I've been doing, but I think some longer form videos would benefit the audience out there, the community. So y'all let me know what you think. If I should keep doing them this way, if I should do more of them, less of them, none of them, etc., etc. Let me know what you think because I will tailor how I'm going to do it based on the response to the community. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it. And that's that. Any questions you got for me, of course, you can always leave those in the comments. Y'all know where to find the programs. Check everything in the video description. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com right, Here I'm just using a simple crab dribble in the post, which is, I know there's a lot of different ways people describe the crab dribble, but it, for this description, the crab dribble is just that straight hard bounce with two hands that I'm doing there. I catch the ball, slam it with two hands on that bounce, drop step to the middle with my inside foot, which is my right foot, turn, and hit a hook shot shooting with my left hand. So it's just a crab bounce, turn, drop into the middle of the paint, and a hook shot over the top. This time I'm using the crab dribble on the left block. I'm dropping my inside foot, which is that left foot. I'm going to drop when I do that bounce, step into the paint as much as I can, and I'm going to shoot a hook shot with my right hand over the top. I've heard different descriptions of the crab dribble, but for this explanation, this is a dribble I was taught by one of my coaches in college that played in the NBA named Armin Gilliam. He called this crab dribble, that strong two-hand bounce there where you just use it to power up into the lane to shoot the hook shot. I'm just playing, catching the ball up at the high post in the elbow area. I'm stepping through as if to maybe go for a fadeaway shot or a dribble away, start my ball handling. I'm not going to dribble. I'm not going to shoot a fadeaway. I'm just going to step through, duck under, and shoot a shot as I lean in. So I'm just using that pivot foot and turning on my toes. And that other leg, that swing leg, is going in the triangle. From the outside to up top to inside and hit the shot. Working out of the high post area here on the right side. You watch that swing leg, which is my right leg on this play. That's the leg that's moving. My pivot is the left leg. I'm pivoting on my left toes. Now, you can watch my right leg as it swings around. It's going to come from the outside of my body there to up top to the inside. From the outside of my left foot to above my left foot to inside my left foot. And that's where I'm raising up and hitting the shot. Just a quick step through move. This is a triple threat series. There's no dribbling involved, obviously, as you can see. This is all in the way that you control your body. This is a footwork move. Putting together a combination here. Quick in and out dribble through the legs, spin move, drive to the basket, finish with a layup. And these are all moves that you already know how to do. You've seen all the tutorials. So I'm coming with a quick pound dribble. Putting the ball through my legs and spin moves is probably the hardest part. You want to drop that ball off. You see how I'm dropping it off. I'm not taking it all the way around, which would be a risk of a carry violation. So I'm putting it through the legs and I'm dropping it off about halfway around so that once I complete the spin with my body, the ball is there waiting for me to grab it and finish the play. Or we'll grab it, so to speak. I'm grabbing it with one hand and actually continuing to dribble. The ball is still bouncing. So it goes through the legs. I drop it off there, bounce it one more time, get to the rim. And that's it. Working from the left side now with the dribble. I'm going to pound dribble, in and out dribble, or pound dribble, whichever one you want to call it there. Is it a little bit hybrid of the two. Go through the legs hard and a spin move. You see how I'm dropping that ball off with the spin so that it continues to bounce. I'm not bringing it all the way around, which 
as I said before, could be close to a carrying violation depending on the officials of the game or if you're playing with your friends or whatever. Through the legs, spin move, bounce it one more time, get to the basket, and finish. This play is just a straight drive. I'm going to pound dribble here. I'm going to attack towards the basket. In and out dribble, pound dribble. In and out, one or two extra bounces. I'm going to gather and go up off two feet for the purpose of this drill. So I'm going off two feet for this dunk instead of going up off one feet, one foot, which is probably an extra dribble for me the way that I like to approach the basket. Maybe fewer dribbles or even more dribbles for you. Find a way that works for you. So I'm taking that in and out dribble, exploding to the rim, going up off two feet, finishing at the basket. This time I'm going towards my left hand side. I'm a quick, hard in and out dribble, pound dribble, whatever you want to call it. Extra one or two bounces, explode to the rim, gathering off two feet and finishing with the dunk. So I'm going off two feet, two feet for this particular drill. I can go off one, of course. There are a million different ways to finish at the basket. The purpose of this drill is to finish it with a dunk going off for two feet for the drive. So I'm pound, in and out, dribble, going in, finishing. I'm going to use a pound cross move twice here. Pound cross there on my screener or defender, whichever way you want to look at it. I get towards the rim. I'm going to raise up on the right side. I'm going to finish with the English on the left side. The English is that backspin you put on the ball. So even though I'm not on that side of the basket, it's spinning back towards me. That backspin coming off my left hand, it goes off the backboard, spins a certain way so that it goes in towards the rim. This is something you get from practice. I wish I could explain it to you in words, but you just get it from putting in the work. Nobody explained it to me. You can figure it out if you practice enough. Attacking with the pound cross dribble here. Another pound cross dribble as I get into the lane. Gather two feet up on the left side. Finish on the right side using the angles. Get the ball up on the backboard. Once it gets up on the backboard, you practice with it. See the way that the ball reacts to the way that you have tossed it off the board. You work on different spins. We like to call it English. You put that English on the ball so that even though I'm coming from the right side of the basket when I release the ball, it's spinning back towards me to the left. That's because of the English that I put on the ball, the backspin that causes it to hit the backboard and go back in the direction from whence it came. Now I'm attacking here. I'm going behind the back and one hand under. You see I'm moving at a slow pace and I'm going to pick up my pace with a quick in and out cross and raise up for the jump shot. So I'm using that behind the back and one hand under dribbles as setups. So you see I'm going slow, then I'm going to go fast. Behind the back, one hand under, pick up the pace with a quick in and out cross and raise up for the jump shot.
Ball on my left hand, behind the back, and one hand under. Now I'm going to change my speed, in and out, cross. I'm going to get low, bend my knees, drop my hips. As I go into the real move, which is going to be in and out, cross. That combo is what's going to finish the play and get me into my jump shot. It's going to finish the move, rather, and I finish the play with the jump shot. So I'm just changing speeds here. I start off with a slow, standing upright, then I get low, go quicker, and finish. Call this move here the drop off dribble. So I'm going to dribble with my right hand and drop it off to my left hand to go under in between my legs with one hand. Then I'm going to explode to the basket and finish. So I'm dropping it off. So I'm using my right hand to bounce it down to the floor, but my left hand is going to pick it up as it comes up. Bounce with the right, pick it up with the left, explode to the rim and finish. I'm calling that the drop off move. Now I'm going to use the drop off from the, to the left hand side, from the left hand side. Bouncing it with the left hand, picking up the dribble with the right hand, and then I'm going to attack the basket, going to my right, and finish at the rim. So I'm dribbling that ball with the left as it hits the floor, and as it comes back up to my hands, my right hand is going to pick it up instead of the hand that actually did the dribbling, which was the left, right in front of my body. So dribble it, pick it up with the other hand, finish at the rim. I'm going to utilize the Euro step this time. The drop off dribble off the right, pick it up in the left, extra dribble. I'm going to take a wide step to the left, come back into my right, and finish with the left hand layup. Euro step is you want to sell that move to the outside, then come to the inside, or vice versa. You can sell it inside and come outside. So I'm coming outside, inside, finish with the layup. Drop off starting with the left hand, picking it up with the right hand, Euro step, wide step with the right foot outside, now I'm coming back inside on the left foot and finishing over the top, finish with a layup, finish with a floater, shot, whatever you want to do, whatever works for you, whatever is necessary for the game situation you're in. That drop off dribble, bounce it with one hand, pick it up with the other and finish the play. this play I'm starting dribbling with the right dropping it off to the left and as soon as I come up off that last dribble under the legs I'm raising straight up for the jump shot so this is like I said before we call this the drop off move right hand take it up with the left raise up finish Dropping off off the left hand, picking it up with the right hand, going right straight up for the jump shot. You should be able to shoot your jump shots off the dribble, whether that dribble is coming off your right hand or coming off your left hand. Definitely need to be able to do both. You don't want to have a hole like that in your game. That takes half of your scoring options away if you can't go off the right hand and off the left hand. Very important, especially for guards. Using my drop off dribble here and I'm going to go as soon as I come up off that last dribble I'm going to go into a crossover so left hand send it back to the left cross it over in front of me get to the rim and finish it over the top this is simple moves the more that you work on it, the easier it will be it will be smooth it'll work easily for you you can come up with a lot of different combos as long as you put the practice in there's nothing complicated about this you just got to put the simple stuff 
combine it with other simple stuff and you come up with what most people refer to as the fancy stuff. Drop off coming off the left hand to the right. Then I'm crossing over from the right to the left, getting into the paint and finishing in whatever way is necessary. Gotta be able to do everything that you do to your right, you gotta be able to do it to your left, switching everything, whether that be the dribble, whether that be the finish, the crossover, the spin, whatever. Gotta be able to go both ways. Now I showed you the drop off crossover for the drive. Now I'm gonna drop it off, cross it over. And I'm going to shoot a jump shot this time. If you can do a move and finish it with a drive at the basket, use that exact same move and finish it with a jump shot. Keep the defense guessing. Never let them know what's going to come next. And the more skills you got, the more options you'll have to do different things. You don't have to plan it out or try to map out, I'm going to do this move, then this move, then that move in order. It's not always going to work like that. And you never know what the defense is going to show you. But the more skills you have, you'll have something for any defense, any opponent, any situation. I'm dropping it off from the left hand to the right hand, crossing over right to left, raising up for my jump shot. Be able to hit your J's dribbling off the right hand or off the left hand with the ball coming to your right hand or coming into your left hand. Drop off dribble from the right hand to the left hand. And I'm going behind the bat. Add a little hop into it. So watch when I go behind the bat. I'm going to hop backwards just a little bit as I set my feet. And go right up into that shot. That creates a little bit of extra space for me. Now all I got to do is make the shot. Dropping it off this time from the left hand to the right hand, a quick behind the back, raising up for the jump shot. You see when I'm doing that last dribble, the last bounce before my shot, I'm using that bounce to set my feet. So I'm not taking any extra time to get set after I come off the bounce. This is how you get your open looks off the bounce. Once you got the handle down, you get the footwork down, and all that's left is making the shots. Dropping the ball off, right hand to the left hand, drop off move, now I'm sending it right back through to the front of my body, back to the hand that it started from, and raising up for the jump shot. And take another look at this at regular speed. Dropping it off to the left, sending it right back to the right. So put a little lean into it to the left as you throw it back to your right hand side. That'll give you a little bit of extra space, hopefully, and you can hit your shot. Left hand drop off move to the right, and I'm going to throw it back from that right hand over to the left hand. Add a little lean in with your shoulders, your hips, your eyes, your feet to the right hand side so that when you do that little hop to the left as you see me do there, that'll give you extra space along with whatever you can get from your defender to hit your shot.
This time as I do the drop off move to the left hand, I'm gonna add a quick, short little in and out dribble before I raise up for the jumper. So as that move comes in, as I do that drop off to the, and I had a ball in my left hand, send it back, I'm gonna use a quick in and out, not a wide one, not a slow one. I'm gonna use a really quick, tough in and out move, tight, low to the ground, and raise right up for the shot, setting my feet as I dribble. Drop off move, left hand to the right hand, I'm gonna use a quick in and out dribble and raise up for the jump shot. Let's take a look at this in slow motion. Bouncing here with the left, dropping off with the right, a quick in and out dribble and raising up for that shot. Again, as I said before, you gotta be able to hit your jump shots dribbling off both your right hand and off your left hand. You gotta work on the smoothness of it with your hands, with making the shot, and also with your footwork to get set the way that you need to be set to hit your shots. You know what works best for you, if you don't, keep practicing until you figure it out. Now here I'm using this trash can. It could be a screener or a defender. I'm a pound cross, dribble away, raise up for a jumper. Then pound cross, wrap that ball behind my back for the shot in slow motion. Pound cross, go away from it, raise up at the elbow, and hit my shot. Now I'm going to use that same pound cross move, but now I'm going to wrap it around and come right back in front of that screener or defender and hit the shot there. As I approach this, this could be a screener, this could be a defender. I'm going to pound cross it, pound cross over to my left hand, wrap that dribble around behind my back. See how I'm throwing that ball? You see where I'm shooting the shot at? I started my move from behind that trash can when I shoot it, I'm to the right and I'm also in front of it. So when I wrap that ball around, I'm throwing it in front of me so I have to go get it. See how I'm putting that ball out way in front of me so I have to move forward in order to catch up to the ball. This creates the separation you need to make the shot. Start with the ball in my left hand. Pound cross. I'm going to wrap it around with my right hand and also put it out in front of me so that I have to go get it. When I shoot this shot, I want to be up near the elbow area. You see, once I throw that ball out in front of me, I have to speed up and I have to get forward. I have to get low to catch up to the ball. This creates the extra separation necessary to complete the move and to give you the space you're going to need to hit this jump shot. Now all you got to do is make the shot. guaranteed 10 inches to your vertical not a maybe 10 inches a guaranteed 10 inches to your vertical go to dreallday.com slash jump get the jump manual when you get it i'm gonna give you five free hoop handbooks or any free dvd all you gotta do is email me the receipt dreallday.com slash jump get your bounce up it's melvin Darberry jr work on your game